ABC7. Eyewitness News in High Definition continues. You wake up one morning and your face feels stiff and one side appears to droop. Your first guess might be a stroke, but if it only affects your face, chances are it's Bell's palsy. And it doesn't just affect adults. Health specialist Denise Tudor is here to tell us more. Yeah, it affects a lot of children. Your chances of getting Bell's palsy increases if you're pregnant, have diabetes, or a cold or a flu. Most cases occur in people age 15 to 60, but a growing number of cases are cropping up in kids. Now doctors are trying to spread the word about this puzzling condition. Ten-year-old Ryan Farrell can brighten a room with a smile, but lately that smile has been tough to crack. It's my face here. I try to do it, but it, it won't work. Watch. It doesn't look good. Ryan has Bell's palsy, a term used to describe paralysis on one side of the face. While most of the 40,000 new cases a year are adults, neurologists say many parents are surprised to learn children can also be afflicted. I think many parents worry this is a stroke or some life-threatening occasion. That's because symptoms include a facial droop, twitching, pain behind the ear or the eye, dry mouth, and difficulty tasting food. While the exact cause of Bell's palsy is not known in all cases, Dr. Goldstein says typically... The cause is an inflammation of the nerve that goes from the brain to the face caused by a virus. A virus similar to the one that causes cold sores or the common cold. It can also be caused by illnesses such as Lyme disease, as in Ryan's case. Dr. Babak Azizadeh is the founder of the Bell's Palsy and Facial Paralysis Foundation. He says the condition impacts patients physically and emotionally. Imagine how much kids make fun of other kids who have, you know, big ears or big noses or are a little overweight. Multiply that by 10 or 100 when a kid can't smile. Sometimes doctors prescribe antiviral medication. About 85% of children recover completely. It takes about three to six months to see significant improvement. Ryan's mom says a long wait when you're 10 years old. He's had good spirits for the most part and understands that there's not much he can do. Again, many people with Bell's palsy recover spontaneously. In some cases, surgery is required, but only as a last resort. Dr. Goldstein says it's important to take your child to the doctor the instant you start to notice any symptoms. To find out more about Bell's palsy from a local expert, log on to our website at abc7.com and click on the See It on TV link. Well, it's called.